I didn't drink until I was 16 or something, something like that, or 17. And I didn't start doing drugs until that time. I started doing acid because I go, I didn't even like to go to raves. I didn't like that music. It was like space alien shit to me. It didn't make no sense. But I would drink and then, you know, take acid, smoke dust and mask and stuff like that. That's what I did all the time for like a few years. And then eventually I had to go to prison, but that ended pretty much. And then I just drank. Then I got hit by a car by some drunk driver, coked up and almost killed me. That's when everything shifted to me becoming addicted to real drugs, like painkillers, and, and then from there to heroin, and et cetera, and so it, it just, I was a fucking nightmare. It's all because I got injured so bad in the hospital for like about two months. I had a trach in my throat, I couldn't breathe. I'd cry at night because like both my legs and hip were broke. I can't get out of bed. You have to breathe in tube, man, That's over your trach. You gotta feed in tube in your nose. I withered away to like nothing and I broke. My jaw, I had, I had plates, like four plates. It wasn't just fractured, it was broken. And um, I broke all like in here. I have all screws and plates in here. And I got a very serious infection in my face. They couldn't even do surgery for a few weeks on my face because the infection was that bad. They had to wait. They did my legs first. It was horrible. And I just told the nurse, I don't, I want to die. I don't, I mean, this is not living. I don't want to fucking be like this. But since then, I've had so many more head injuries. I, I should be dead. I should have been dead a long, so long, so long ago. The one person I told him, um, yeah, I'm going to shoot you in your fucking head. I was going to burn down or blow up one of the other people's houses. Anything that came to mind, a wave of terror like that. You know what I mean? They, they came at me. So I fucked them. He's like, dude, like two detectives and two police officers were just at, what's your name's house? I'm like, for what? For you, detectives in suits. And I start kicking, trying to kick the window out, you know? Because I'm trying to get out the fucking car and just get disappear and get home because my brother would cut the cuffs off me. He might have even had a key at the time because he was a criminal himself. So he's like, yo, what are you doing, dude? We're going to get in trouble. Don't do that. I was like, yo, dude, I am in trouble, man. This is serious. He fucking flew down. Open the door and rip me out the car onto the ground. Indicted, you know, fucking indicted. That means you're not going to jail. You're, they're going to send you to prison. Years in state prison. Okay, he's got to be bad. He's on the front page of the newspaper. He must have done things other than that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gets on the front page of the newspaper for nothing. They named me Million Dollar Vandal. The court watchers, they attended all my court hearings every month. The whole courtroom was full. But not just them, they had like, yo, know, politicians, all types of shit. Like, it was just fucking ridiculous. But it's kind of like they're there and it's like, yo, we want him to go to prison. And we are all here to make sure that fucking happens. So I have like no fair chance because they're making the decision, not the ADA or the DA or the judge. Judges got to be elected and all that shit. Politicians call in favors. Listen, he needs to go to prison. That's just how it is. So these jerk offs come every month, like, and you got people, like, one woman had like a walker, she couldn't be like, what did I do to her? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is she? The day of sentencing, there were so many people there. They had to sit next to me, one the guy, and I was just like, I elbowed him and was like, yeah, I can't wait for this shit to get started. This is exciting, right? You know, he's looking at me like, you got a fucking sense of humor. Then I went to Rikers Island to see 74. That's where the bus picks you up. The State Department of Correction comes and you officially be transferred into their custody and they shackle you up with the chain. They, they put the chain around you, and then they have the cuffs connected to the chain with a clamp with a little lock on it so you can't lift your arms up, and then they shackle your, your ankle, one ankle to the other inmate that you're gonna be on the bus with. So from downstate prison in Fishkill, I was transferred, drafted, sent to Green County Prison. It's in Catasauqua, New York. That place was not a good place. It was just not good. It's just a fucked up, crazy place because you get into a fight or you get into an argument and someone could just get slashed or stabbed or whatever the fuck happened. You don't want to even go to the yard at night or the day because the yard has um, armored, you know, um, correctional vehicles surrounding it because they're getting ready to, you know, tear gas the yard. Do you think you'll ever quit the <laughs> Uh What do you think? I don't know. Do you think I'll quit graffiti? I wouldn't hold your fucking breath with that one. I don't know, man. <laughs> they made me into the million dollar vandal, right? This is who I am, right? They made me this. They wanted this to be me. That's what I am, right? So what can I do? I don't know anything else.